Hi everyone, Jen Roke here at StampCampWithJen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida, and welcome to my Christmas in November series. All month long, I'm bringing you projects to inspire you for the upcoming holiday gift giving season. So I hope that you enjoy today's project. And if you missed the previous ones, um, at the bottom of my blog post, I have a link or a list of all of the other projects. So you can click through those and watch the videos and see the tutorials for those as well. Um, before we get started, I want to talk about a few things I have going on this month. So the first thing I have is my Stuff the Stocking giveaway. Um, every order placed through me in November um, that uses the host code for the month, if your order is under $150, I will place an item in this Christmas stocking. It could be retired product, current product, maybe some new product from the new catalog, um, a Christmas card or a little project I may have made in the past. Um, so for every order that I get, I'll put something in this stocking and then on December 1st, I will draw from the list of people that have placed an order and one person will win everything in the stocking and the Christmas stocking as my Christmas gift to you. So um, you can or order as many times as you want. Each time you order is an entry. There's no minimum, but again, if your order is under $150, just make sure you use that host code to qualify, okay? And then I also have my free gift for November, which is your choice. So if you place an order with me of at least $50, you will get your choice of any item under $10 as your free gift. Um, it excludes 12 by 12 papers and large grid papers. They just cost too much to ship. So um, if you want to read all the details, you can find that out on my blog. Just remember, you have to use that host code to qualify for this as well. Um, and also don't forget my Campfire Rewards program. Every $50 increment in a single order, you earn one Campfire badge. And if you get 10 in a calendar year, then you get a free $50 shopping spree on me. I pay for the tax, the shipping, everything. You just can't go over $50. So it's a great way to save while you shop with me. Okay, so for today's project, can you hear that jingle bell? We have this cute hand sanitizer holder. I made a similar one um, a few months ago with the Ornate Garden series paper, and I thought, let's make another one for Christmas. So these are always really great gifts. They're really quick and easy to put together. They would be great little table favors for a Christmas party, or you could even put it in somebody's stocking as a little stocking stuffer. Or maybe you have a neighbor gift, like if you have a little get together with your neighbors, that would be great, it's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to put this together. It's really, really quick and easy. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, Real Red Designer Series paper. This is two inches by nine and a half inches, and I've scored it at four and a quarter and five and a quarter. So we're gonna fold along those score lines and we're gonna bring in our bone folder and burnish or crease those lines, okay? Now, to make the ends look pretty, we're gonna take our scallop tag topper punch and we're gonna slide that real red all the way down and punch. And then pull that in. It's a very snug fit because two inches is the max um, width that you can get in here so all right so now we have our little ends there very cute okay and then I have our designer series paper which is from the tis the season pack there's two pieces because I like to decorate the front and the back if you don't want to decorate the back if you're making a bunch of them and you want to save on paper you could definitely only just do the front um, I just like the way it looks on the front and the back there, so it's all decorated. But So these are cut at 1 and 7 eighths by 3 and 3 eighths. And we are going to use our stamp and seal. And, oops, I got stuck. I think I've shown this to you guys before, but if, you, if it, this is the first time you're watching me, um, I don't know, I think this one is a little sticky and so for some reason the glue keeps getting stuck on my stamp and seal. So if that happens, all you do is you take the applicator out, you lift this big wheel up and then you take the small wheel and kind of wind it until the tape 
gets wound all the way back on this small wheel. For some reason, mine kept getting like a big loop right here, and I think that's because I need to clean it. It's a little sticky. Um, I use it for class a lot, and it gets kind of messy um, when people use it a lot, but you can kind of see, I think, it's a little sticky around the edges, so I think it that might be what it's getting caught on. So, But that's all you do if that happens to you. It's really easy to fix. Um, you just gotta wind that wheel up, so. All right, so we're putting this on. There's just a little bit of a border all the way around, but it's easiest to put the paper on before you start assembling the box. It gets a little um, cumbersome, I guess, is probably the best word if you're trying to do this when it's a box. It's easier just to do it when it's flat like this. So we've got that done. We're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna work on the little box piece that goes in the middle that will hold our hand sanitizer. So here's another piece of real red. It's three inches by four inches, and I've scored it on all sides at one inch. And so now I'm gonna fold and burnish again with my bone folder on all sides. You'll see how fast and easy this comes together. So, Okay, so now we're gonna make a little bit of a box. So we're gonna cut these little pieces on the side right up until that horizontal score line and we're going to do that on the long sides on both sides of the box okay so you're going to have these little flaps and what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on the flaps and we're going to make a box so if you want it to be a little cleaner what we're going to do is we're going to Kind of angle this part right here because you'll see when you do that and you go to close the box it just looks a little cleaner around the edges there so we're gonna do that on all of our little flaps here and I'll show you what it looks like so you can see exactly where I cut so we lay this down and you can see it kind of looks like a fat hexagon, I guess, <laughs> like a rectangular hexagon. So that's, these outside corners are where you want to angle if you want it to look real clean when you put the box together so that it's flat all the way around, okay? You don't have to do it, it'll work just fine if you don't, but I just think it looks a little nicer. So we're gonna take some liquid glue and Use a light layer of liquid glue. You don't wanna use a big glob of it because one, it takes a long time to dry and also um, it might make your project a little bubbly. So if you ever use liquid glue on like a card or a project and you have a big old splotch of it on there, it's gonna bubble up. Um, so you definitely don't wanna do that, okay? I like to use liquid glue. You could use um, tear and tape, definitely, but uh, liquid glue, especially for pre 3D projects, it just gives you a little bit of time to kind of move things around before it sets up. So that's why I like to use it for 3D projects. Okay, and there's our little box that's gonna go in here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put some liquid glue on the bottom And we're gonna line it up where our little um, center piece is right there. And we're just gonna line that right up and stick that in. And you'll see it comes straight up and down around the box. So what I like to do is on one side, whichever side you want to be the back, put some more liquid glue. Okay. And then we're going to stick that right up against that box. And I just like to do that because it gives it a little bit more um, stability. And then when they open it, they'll just, we'll put the decoration on the front and it'll just flap down like that. And you'll see the little holder on the inside. So, all right, so we're gonna set that aside to dry while we make our decoration for the front. So I have a piece 
of Whisper White scrap paper here and we're using the Warm Hugs photopolymer stamp set and we're going to use this Warm Hugs to you all season long and we're just going to use the little outline of the tree and stamp that in the middle right there. So we're going to grab our shaded spruce. This is quickly becoming my favorite color for Christmas. I love, it's like an emerald green almost and I think it's so pretty when it comes out. All right, so we're gonna stamp. Oh, that didn't come out very good. That's all right, we'll just stamp again. You gotta apply even pressure straight up and down, much better. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna actually shift it where I want it to be for my tree to be straight up and down in the words. And I am just gonna stamp the tree right in the middle. You could definitely die cut it and glue it. This is just a little less fussy and a lot quicker, especially if you have a bunch of them that you're trying to put together. Um, you definitely, I would recommend stamping it. So another great tip is if you have a one and a half inch circle punch, they, the one and a half circle punch cuts out these little circles in this stamp set perfectly. And it's just another quick, easy way to make a bunch of these at once, so. Okay, and let me see if I can find, I die cut a little hexagon piece, but I think I misplaced him, so I might have to go do that again, that's okay. All right, so I just took, these are the Warm Wraps dies. So these come in a bundle, the Warm Wraps dies and the Warm Hugs Photopolymer stamp set. If you get both of these together, you save 10%. So that's a really great um, savings. And I always recommend if you're gonna buy something and it's bundled together, get the bundle. Because I've done that in the past where I thought, oh, I don't want the dies or I just want the stamp set. And then later I go to put a card or something together and I really wish that I would have um, ordered the dies to go with it. And by the time that I realize it, that I want them, it's too late and I can't get them anymore. They're retired or something, so. All right, I'm gonna go cut this hexagon real quick and I will be right back. Actually, I'm gonna die cut it here so you can see. So this magnetic plate, um, I'm still using it even though it has actually been turned off on the Stampin' Up! website. If you have one, Stampin' Up! says that you could just keep it. They don't need it back, um, but they are um, turning it off and you won't be able to buy it because there's been a lot of warping. You can see it on mine. It's not as bad as maybe some other ones have been, but there's definitely warping. There's definitely warping and um, they're gonna try to, they've had enough complaints and had to reissue plates to enough people that they're testing it and trying to fix it so that maybe in the future they can have a better product. So, all right. So I have, all right, so now we have the hexagon and we're just gonna take a little bit of liquid glue again like I said, you can use liquid glue. I've used stamp and seal to do this before too. It really doesn't matter whichever adhesive of your choice to put this on the little hexagon. And then once you get it positioned, just kind of rub it all over to get that even layer. I like it so um, when you position it on here, it kind of looks like a stop sign. That's how I like to do it, but however, your preferences is fine, so. All right, so we're gonna put our um, hand sanitizer in our holder, and I'm going to take some dimensionals and put those, we're just gonna use two dimensionals on the top and bottom right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna put it right in the center there. I just love how that looks. I think that's so cute. Okay, so now to close it, I have some gold metallic edge ribbon. I'm just gonna cut, I don't know, maybe a nine inch piece. And we're gonna double it up. So you just fold it onto itself. And so the part that's kind of like the doubled part, where the, end, the opposite of where the ends are, I guess. We're gonna slip through the hole for the where the we punched, and then we're going to have a loop on one side. 
I'm putting my fingers through the loop and I'm taking the ends and just pulling it through where the loop is. Now that is really long, so I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. And I like to trim it at an angle so you can kind of see. And then I have some gold trim. Now, I will be honest, I got this from the Tag Buffet project kit, but the Forever Greenery com ribbon combo pack has this as well. So if you have that or need to order it, you can order it through that combo pack. So I'm just going to cut, I don't know, probably like a 10 inch, 10, 12 inch piece of that. And then I'm gonna grab a jingle bell. I love the sound of jingle bells. It makes me think of Christmas. They come in gold, shaded spruce, and cherry cobbler. I'm using a um, shaded spruce one for this project. So we're gonna thread this through and we're going to tie around where the top of the holder is, where the ribbon is. We're gonna tie once and then we are going to, we're not gonna double knot. You don't need to double knot because this thread will hold it once you tie it around once, it'll hold it pretty well. And then I'm just gonna tie a little bow here. And then if it's a little long, I'm gonna trim some of the thread. And that's it. Super quick, easy, and adorable. And I really hope you enjoyed this, so. All right, so if you enjoyed this project, um, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell so you never miss a video. If you need any supplies from today's project, please go onto my website. I have the full supply list in my blog post and you can click on any of the images to shop with me in my online store. Don't forget to use that host code so that you can get an entry into my Stuff the Stocking giveaway. And if your order is at least $50, you'll get my monthly free gift, which is your choice of any item up to $10. So, all right, well, I will be back in a few, few days with another fun project. In the meantime, Stay safe and have a great day. Bye, guys.